everything in music. And I'm talking everything, whatever you think, you know, well, can it explain this? Can it explain that? The answer is yes. This will make you stop watching YouTube eventually and be able to understand everything you've been taught and everything that you're going to learn in the future in any genre. I promise. I love it when things make sense. And I'm talking frictionless, seamless, crystal clear sense. Uh, I see the guitar and music very clearly. It makes a lot of sense to me. And I want to be able to share that mindset with you. This episode of Stitch Method is going to be introducing something totally new that I'll be working with you in the future. So make sure you keep watching so you understand exactly what's happening in this video. All right, music theory and guitar have been uh, twisted and turned and made into this game of telephone over hundreds of years. There are so many different tangents and ways to explain what's happening on this guitar neck and in music. And I'm talking from songwriting to uh, looking at tablatures to reading music to breaking down your favorite songs to improvising. I'm talking all of it. There are so many different ways to look at it. And uh, it's been made really a lot harder than it actually is. And so today I'm going to introduce to you a framework, a mindset that's not going to challenge any sort of um, theory or um, knowledge that you have. What it's going to do is it's going to put it in perspective and have it make sense for you to keep on learning in a structured, crystal clear way. All right. So what is this thing I'm talking about? Well, it's called the master music formula. It is popping up on your screen right now. Now, it's just, just to let you know, all of music, and I'm talking all of music, every nook and cranny inside and out, up and down can be explained through this framework, which is music equals scales and or chord tones happening at the same time over chords plus the human element. That's how you need to look at music. Now, that, some people might be like, what the heck does that mean? And we're gonna look at this formula. Um, we're gonna look at, in, in future videos, um, you know, chord systems, scales, songwriting, melodies, harmonies, uh, genres, everything is gonna be explained through this formula. Again, music equals scales and chord tones over chords plus the human element. And I'll give you a brief example of some things that pertain so you can see it work, but this formula will be appearing on my channel nonstop to help you understand what you've already learned, things to learn in the future, and how to really command this instrument the way you want to. This is by far the most powerful and potent musical structure that I've ever come across. I came across this about a decade ago, and before I even started Stitch Method, I was teaching workshops and, and, and doing this, and even it's part of my Never Lost Live workshop, and now I'm bringing it to the world, all right, because I really want you guys to really understand this and play your guitar and play with confidence. Um, so I'm going to show you what I mean, I like brief examples right now of how it works, all right, and in the future, if you are curious and you're going to have, you might have questions like, well, what about this and what about that? Uh, make sure you are subscribed, hit that bell notification, and all of my future videos are going to be talking about all the stuff you've either learned or need to learn compared to this formula and how easy it is to truly understand music. And, you know, when you do this, the only thing left will be to discover the musician inside of you. Right? The only thing left, because you'll know everything, and I promise, crystal clear, makes sense, I promise. All right, so let me just show you a couple things. This, this uh, master music formula can zoom in or zoom out, and right now I'm going to kind of ha like have it zoomed out the whole thing, and in the future videos we'll kind of zoom in, and it'll all make sense. But, you know, let's just take a quick, quick gander. What do I mean by this stuff? Well, it's very, very simple. Let's look at that uh, master music formula, and let's look at uh, a G chord. <laughs> All right, so I'm playing a simple G chord. Well, what this music formula means that is that that chord is now at the bottom in that denominator position, right? There's my G chord. Now on top of that, you have scales plus chord tones. And what that means is at any moment in time a G chord is being played in music, that G chord tones, which are Gs, Bs, and Ds, are going to be played somewhere on top of that chord because that's what bonds to it and the chords have all the weight. Also, you're going to find maybe a scale that relates to the G. It could be a G major scale that sews the chord tones together. It could be a G mixolydian, a G linear, whatever. And I'll explain all this stuff in future videos. But there we have a very brief example. If a G chord at any moment is being played in a song, well, you, you can bet that the melody is going to have those Gs, Bs, 
B's um, and D's uh, in it. Guaranteed, 100%. It's, you, you, you will bet and make millions on that, okay? It's coming. Also, there's going to be some sort of scale that puts it together. And we'll talk about the scale options crystal clear. Plus the human element. What's the human element? It's that musician who wants to phrase in different ways. <laughs> know anything it could be any sort of rhythm and tempo that is inside the player all right so there's a brief example let, let me give you another example of how this uh, formula works and again in future videos make sure you're you're subscribed and make sure if you're skeptical that you watch the videos to come because they will help you uh, let's just take like um, the blues right the blues is a very easy example to use for this master music formula what is the blues well the blues equals, okay, so we're going to say the blues equals, um, and we're talking down-home blues, just regular blues, not major blues, not minor blues, blues right now, equals, okay, minor pentatonics plus seventh chord tones over seventh chords and the human element, which is the phrasing part. So what do I mean by that? Well, this stuff I'm about to talk about is in your the blues primer playlist on my channel. So if I have an A7 chord, and that's the first chord of my blues. There it is at the bottom, right? On top, what are we putting on top of it? Well, this is the best mentality to have because you're looking at two things at once on this guitar neck. Here's my chord, and on top of it, right there, physically, I'm putting my minor pentatonic. And then, when I play a minor pentatonic, I'm looking at all of the chord tones that I was playing before and seeing if there's any right there, right? Any that were not in the pentatonic, but in that chord tone, and bringing it to the forefront, putting it on top, scales plus chord tones. So I have my A7 chord, which has, uh, sorry, the C sharp in it, but my scale does not, my minor pentatonic does not, so I put it in, right? Just to let you know. And so you get these, now you have this uh, formula, blues equals, uh, minor pentatonics plus seventh chord tones over seventh chords or a one four five type seven chord plus the guitar player plus the human element so you're going to get lines that incorporate the seventh chord the minor pentatonic and the uh, chord tones all right and so this this kind of like mindset we're not we're not redefining music theory we are looking at how, when you have a song, it has chords, they hold the gravity. On top, you have to have some sort of scale that relates to the chords, and again, I'll show you how easy it is, plus those chord tones that make the melody, plus the musician, all right? I'll show you one last thing before we go, and, and again, this video is just to say, hey, keep watching my channel. Make sure you're subscribed. We are going to revolutionize the guitar learning community with this formula, I promise. And you're going to be unstoppable no matter what you want to do. So if I took, we can use it with modes, right? Let's just say we take a famous Grateful Dead song, which is A, G, and D. Now, make a long story short, that's an A mixolydian progression. That's in the bottom of that formula, the chords. We have an A mixolydian progression, we have A, G, and D. And you go, okay, that's mixolydian, all right? On top, what kind of scales can you put on top of mixolydian? Well, I happen to have a course popping up right here that tells you all of the different scales you can put on top, that different top portion, the numerator, right? And so, scales plus chord tones. Well, if it's an A mixolydian progression, I can put an A mixolydian scale on top of it plus my chord tone. So when the A is coming, I'm hitting, I'm looking at that A. When the G comes, I'm looking at the G, but I'm trying to stay where I am, so I see a G chord here. So I can have my A chord tones, and I see a D here. I sew it together with that A mixolydian, and I have like... right there was me keeping track of the chords, that bottom portion of the formula, putting on top the right scale and hitting the chord tones at the same time, giving it some phrasing and how I feel as a guitar player. And again, everything, everything in music, and I'm talking everything, whatever you think, you know, well, can it explain this? Can it explain that? The answer is yes. This will make you stop watching YouTube eventually and be able to understand everything you've been taught and everything that you're going to learn in the future in any genre. I promise. It's it's what I want to give to the world 
right now. All right. It, 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 it's, it's something I'm passionate about. And so stay tuned. If you're skeptical, I totally understand, but just make sure you watch the future videos and they'll say master music formula, right? Either in the thumbnail or the title. So you understand those lessons are about this and how music and guitar apply to it. I'm going to, I'm going to stop talking. Hopefully I've earned your trust. Hopefully you are excited about this. So just stay tuned. The master music formula is coming to Stitch Method now.